Welcome back, guys, to the Blind Run and Metro the Other Room for the Nintendo Wii. Alright, time to keep on heading to wherever it is that we're being guided to. This is pretty sweet. I wasn't expecting to fight Fantoon again. It looks like he has a couple of new attacks up his sleeve. I don't remember him releasing hands in Super Metroid. Alright, for now we obviously got to use the beam to attack him with. Alright, he broke the glass so we can probably get him with a missile now. Let's go ahead and try that. And of course he's going to go behind the glass. That's alright though, at least we displayed his health bar. Alright, he's going to break the glass again. We'll just keep using the beam at the moment. Seems to release a whole bunch of these eye projectiles. So it makes it kind of hard to use missiles. There we go. Keep on dodging the eyeball projectiles using the sense move. Go and try to get him with a missile. Didn't look like we got him that time. Yeah, like I said, it's kind of tricky to use missiles on them because we have to stand still and there are so many of these eyeball projectiles coming from everywhere. Let's try to get them with another missile. Alright, got them that time, but the missiles don't really seem to do a whole lot of damage. Seems like it's best to probably just stick with the beam overall. So let's go ahead and do that, just keep on moving around. It looked like he made a little ball of fire appear back there. Use the laser attack that went along the floor. That was pretty easy to dodge. Alright. Just keep this up. Keep on running around. To avoid his attacks, of course. And then counterattack with our own shots. There we go. And we got hit and we also missed our shot. That's alright, though. Starting to get a little bit low in our health. And I didn't mean to run right into that fire. That's alright, though. There we go. Do our best to avoid his attacks, obviously. He's got a little over half of his health gone now. Go ahead and screw attack these hands to destroy them. There we go. Just keep this up. Do the best that we can. Seems like he's going to be releasing hands full time now, and we need to do the concentration move, which we probably won't be able to do, but we really need to. Let's go and try that. Let's get somewhere safe and try it again, and she's going to go into the morph ball. Yep, and that got us killed. Go figure. That's alright, though. I think I got the hang of this battle down now. I know what to do against him, at least. So let's go and try this again. Go ahead and reveal his health bar real quick. There we go. Kind of like the area where we're fighting Fantoon. And I like that he's destroying the place that we're in right now. It's kind of cool because it's like a reference to where you fight him at in Super Metroid, which was a wrecked ship, which is pretty much what he's doing right here. So it kind of fits, I guess. And I kind of like that. Alright. Seems like sometimes it's probably best just to use a bunch of normal shots as opposed to just using the charge shot. Yeah, I was going to try to get him with the super missile there, but he hit behind the glass again. Like I said, it's kind of hard to get him with missiles, let alone super missiles, because you have to stand still for all of that, and he's releasing so many of these eyeball projectiles. That's alright, though. The beam does a pretty good job. It just makes the battle take a little longer, because we're not doing very much damage with it. But it's still an effective weapon, nonetheless. Yeah, the missiles don't do hardly anything. Alright, let's keep this up. Just keep on running around avoiding his attacks the best we can. Oh, I see what the laser is doing now. It's the laser that's causing those fireballs to appear. Earlier I thought that he was just shooting the laser and it was going along the ground. I didn't notice that that's what was creating the fireballs. That kind of makes sense. That's kind of cool. Seems like so long as we stay far away then we can avoid the tentacle attack. Alright, just keep on using charge shots on him. Missed that last one. Let's try that again, and we missed again. 
Just keep on using the sense move to dodge the eyeball projectiles, but we'll go ahead and get hit by a fireball like we did back there. That's alright though. We're still doing pretty good in our health. Hopefully we don't go too low though, because doing the concentration move is really annoying in this battle thanks to all of the eyeball projectiles coming from everywhere. Go ahead and screw attack a couple more of these hands. There we go. He has a little less than half of his max life left. And this battle isn't too bad now that I got the hang of everything. I say as I get hit. Alright, screw attack these hands, avoid those eyeball projectiles, and get hit by the tentacles instead. Okay, I didn't really mean to do this, but sure. Looks cooler anyway. Alright, try to create some distance and keep on shooting him with charged shots. There we go. Like I said before, the charged shot isn't doing a whole lot of damage, but it's still effective nonetheless. It's a little easier than using missiles anyway. There we go. Doesn't have a whole lot left. We're still doing pretty good in our health. There we go. Just a few more charge shots and he'll be down and out. Try that again after we destroy some of these hands. Got them moving all around. Get them with that charge shot and screw attack the hands real quick. There we go. Destroy this hand over here. There we go. Probably like two or three more charge shots and he'll be down and out. There we go. Probably two more. Alright, just one more. Let's try this again as soon as I screw attack these hands. We're doing pretty bad in our health now. Oh, come on. Ah, uh, I am not gonna die this far into the battle. Try that again. There we go. Nice. I was gonna be really mad if I would have died that far into the battle. Alright, well, Fantoon is now down and out. Let's see what we gotta do next. That was a really fun battle. I'm glad that I got to fight Fantoon again. Alright, gotta go over there to that grapple beam pod, so let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Go ahead and go into this area and see where that takes us to. Seems pretty straightforward once again. Alright, go through this door here. Just keep on going to wherever we're being led to here. Alright, got an elevator. Let's go ahead and get on that. Okay. Just gonna be like Metroid Fusion. Well, we got full control over Samus. Let's look around and see what we can find. Alright, not seeing much. Try using bombs? No? I really don't know. Okay. Let's try looking around in first person again, see if we can find out anything. Alright, nothing up there. Maybe we shoot the floor with a charge shot? No? Keep look. Oh, there we go. Okay, got to use a power bomb. I didn't even notice that crack. There we go. Alright, just go ahead and hop off and just follow the rest of the way down, I guess. There we go. Okay, just keep on going through this area. I see an item on the map. It's probably up this little chute here. And I see like a little bug nest. There we go. Need to move forward a little bit more. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and climb up this shaft now and see what's up there. Oh, kind of messed that up. Let's try that again. There we go. And we got another missile tank. Puts us at 25 missiles. Not too bad. Although I'm sure I should probably have a whole lot more missiles than 25 at this point. And that's alright though, I'm not too worried about it. Alright, we're just about to where we need to go it seems. Just walk through this area.
destroy the Metroids and MB in Sector Zero. You have to remain hidden. No! Samus! Don't worry. The Galactic Federation CO, who's here now, will help you. Self-destruction protocol activating. Please evacuate the facility immediately. Seriously? That's what Samus came back here for and risked her life for was Adam's helmet, of all things? Well, I I guess if it means a lot to Samus, then it was worth it, I guess. This is really cool, though. It's like a Metroid Zero mission. Looks like we're going to be going through this area all in the Zero suit. Looks like we got our plasma pistol with us as well. I really like that. That's really awesome. Although I don't really understand why we're doing this sort of mission here with the Zero Suit instead of her Power Suit. I mean, nothing happened to the Power Suit, it seemed. And I just took a couple of hits from that fire like a dummy. That's alright, though. Alright, I'm not really 100% sure where to go. I guess we'll just jump down. Alright, trying to follow the arrow on the map, but it's not really all that clear. Because sometimes in rooms it'll be telling us to go to the lower right, but there'll be no way to leave the room to the lower right sometimes. That's alright though. Just keep on moving, get out of here the best we can. If it's like all the other Metroids, then they're going to give us more than enough time to get back to our ship. Alright, just keep on moving. Alright, head down in this room. And now we gotta go back. I didn't even notice the glass there. Thought that those were just like rails holding up the ceiling or something, supporting the ceiling or whatever. That's alright though. For the most part, I'm probably just gonna be avoiding enemies. Okay, what do we do here? Can we jump over it? Oh, well, I really wasn't expecting that. We can't slide underneath this. Gotta shoot it, maybe? There we go. Takes a couple more shots to open up these gates with the plasma pistol than what it would with the arm cannon, obviously. Alright, go ahead and jump down in this room. At least I guess that was where I was supposed to go. Paralyze these space pirates, keep on moving I guess. If this was even the way we were supposed to go and it doesn't seem like it. Got a gate here to shoot up. Doesn't seem like it's raising. Shoot it again maybe with another charge shot. Oh, I see a little area where we could slide under it. There we go. Go ahead and jump up now. Try it again. No, and she's going to slide back out. Okay, let's do this. Samus, what are you doing? Come on, girl. Slide back underneath it. There you go. All right, there. Now we're back on track. Climb back up out of here. Keep on moving. Jump over the hole now, or we'll miss time to jump and end up back down here. And we're probably going to die. Yep, I figured. That's kind of a re-re moment on my part. That's alright, though. I know the area a little better now, so it shouldn't take as long to get back to this part. And yes, I would like to continue. Thank you for asking. Seems like it's another one of those where it takes a little while to load. That's alright, though. Okay, we're back at the beginning of this area. Let's just make our way back out now. Go left down here. And we get to this area over here. Head left of the door, of course. Alright, go south in here. Like I was saying before, for the most part, I'm just going to be avoiding all the enemies. I'm just going to try to run past them. If some space pirates are in my way pretty bad, then I'll stun them with the plasma pistol, but otherwise I'll just run right past them the best that I can. See an item on the map, but I'm not going to worry about that. No time to. Go ahead and jump back down over here. If she's going to? Can she not jump over rails? It's kind of weird. Maybe it's just those ones. I don't know. Let's try it in here. Yeah, she definitely cannot jump over rails. That's kind of odd. 
Who would have thought that Samus's one weakness would be rails of all things? Whatever though, just keep on moving. I really like that they included a zero missionary in this game. Like I said, it's not entirely necessary whatsoever, and I'm still a little bit confused why she doesn't just put on the power suit. But this is still a really fun segment of the game in my opinion. Let's not make the same mistake this time that we did last time. Just head south in this room. Go ahead and take a left here and slide under the little pile of junk. There we go. Go ahead and open up the gate. Okay, try that again. There we go. Keep on moving. Well, that's good to know that one charge shot is good enough to open up those gates. Alright, let's try to time our jump better. There we go. Keep on moving. Go down here and jump over this one. Alright. Go through this door over here. Or not. Okay, just keep on jumping over the holes the best that we can. Alright, we should be about back to the ship. Just keep on moving. Open up all the gates and slide under everything that gets in the way. Just avoid all the space pirates. Alright, climb up the steps over here. There we go. Okay, this was apparently not the right way to go. Didn't mean to run into that. That's alright, though. Paralyze this space pirate down here. Alright, keep on moving. The ship should just be right up ahead. Seems like it. Just about there. Yeah, I figured that the game was going to give us more than enough time to get back to the ship. Sorry for keeping you waiting, Adam. Let's go home. Alright, looks like we have now truly completed Metroid the Other Rim for the Nintendo Wii. My rate for collecting items was... 28%, which is not that great. But it was just my first run. I really wasn't all that interested in collecting a lot of items. Whatever the case, though, this now concludes the blind run of Metroid the Other Rim for the Nintendo Wii. I hope you all enjoyed watching it and you all know the drill. Comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching.